All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with Phillip Rivers and the Los Angeles Chargers. And now movement here right away. Maybe a sign of things to come with this crowd. The Los Angeles Chargers, you think week 15, Charles, that win over Kansas City. Look, they're not sneaking up on anybody anymore. This is a team that can make a run in the postseason. Not only can they make a run at the postseason, their head coach, Anthony Lynn, truly believes in the team because in that win in week 15, remember he opted to go for two after the late touchdown at work. And when they asked him about it after the game, he said, it was a no-brainer. With my team, we're going for it. But I'm with you on this team. They're not sneaking up on anyone, yet they're also going to be a handful for anyone that they're going to play. And remember, they also beat Pittsburgh in December as well. So this is a team that is very, very talented. Both of those games, by the way, primetime matchups, and the whole nation saw them. Yeah, the last part, they can go on the road and win. That's a big, big deal because of that defense. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Patriots take over. Charles, for the New England Patriots, one stat that you and I were looking at before the game is kind of interesting. When they lost in weeks 14 and 15, it's the first time they suffered back-to-back -back defeats in December since 2002. So I don't know that they're in trouble as they go toward the playoffs, but not playing their best football. I think that's a great point because you have to go back to 2002 for that to happen. So their level of consistency off the charts. But you're exactly right. They are not playing their best football. And what they're always competing for is one of those opening week buys where they have to play that extra game in the playoffs. It looks like this year they may very well have to play that extra game. And if that's the case, that's not the recipe for getting to the Super Bowl for the New England Patriots. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. From the gun, it's Brady. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll run it here. This is James White. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Wait, 20! 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love go, being go. physical. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Wait 20! Wait 20! On first down, Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michel. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second down, Michelle. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle, and he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier, and guess what? You're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now he'll throw with Brady. Goes underneath here to White. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll give him a yard on the play. And they're going to face a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Wait, 20. From the gun on third down, Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And Goskowski's kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. <laughs> and the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. 
They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now a play fake here on first down. And this one complete to Virgil Green. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities but that's the last thing his team wants to have happen right the last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time yeah first quarter only but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing first kick 47 this one looks good as well 51 yards on the punt there and possession will switch hands first and 10. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, let's get three, right? <laughs> and he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Brandon Meebane in there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Everyone's got four. I said, wait, 20. Hey. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter... Can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So out come the Chargers. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now Rivers going to give the Gordon on the draw. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 
Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. We haven't seen much from him running the football here this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On third down, Rivers. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Rivers on first down. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They go play action here on first down. Wide open. It's Allen complete. Now that's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Working out of the gun, Rivers. His throw incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And that'll bring up second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and 19. From the gun, Rivers. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Hey, we got a second here. Let's go back to week 15 following the win over Green Bay for Chicago. Happiness rained down on the field. The Bears claiming the NFC North title, but one Bear took his celebration to an extreme. I know you saw this. Yes, I certainly did. Charles Leno Jr., left tackle for the Chicago Bears, got down on a knee and proposed to his girlfriend, Jennifer. So not only celebrating an NFC North title, but now his proposal accepted by Jennifer, who will now be Mrs. Jennifer Leno Jr.? No, no Jr. <laughs> no Jr. By the way, smart move because she's not going to say no in front of 60,000 people. Well, I've seen it happen before. Not pretty, but not in this case. Ronkowski got it on the crossing route. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one goes for 24 yards. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he find big 87. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still... Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Wait, 20! Wait, 20! 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Wait, 20. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. And that's why you spend a first-round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Like 20! Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And now running right through it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That good for 22 and a first down. But we all know it's turned into a passing league in the NFL, but that doesn't mean people still don't like to run the football. When you run it that successfully, your offensive line is fired up. What they want to do each and every game is run block. Get out and smack some people. I would say go ahead and run it again. Now Brady. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. And they will run it with Michelle. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. Brady going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Set, set, set right set, on second down, they'll run with Gordon. Let's go. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, 
go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play fake, Rivers. Allen has it, left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Let's go. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Rivers now to throw on first down. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Operating from the gun, Rivers. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. The Charger first down, Rivers hooking up with Allen. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Rivers now after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. And caught by Henry. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Given nine there on the first down completion. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Now the handoff comes to Gordon, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of two, now third down. Oh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Ready. Rivers from the gun on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. So how would you describe that one, partner? Workmanlike right there, getting that first down, blue-collar type football? Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like workmanlike. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On first and ten, Rivers. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. We got three. Three down. Three down. Hey, fellas, we got three. Let's go. A first red zone opportunity here for the Chargers. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Ready. A first down throw here for Rivers. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Give him seven on the play, and it's a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. They'll throw again, Rivers. And he's got his man. It's Henry for a Chargers touchdown. Hunter Henry from eight yards out. And the Chargers are an extra point away from moving out in front. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catches, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? 
One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this Wait, league, 20. you take <laughs> points when you can get them. Not easily done. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. 20, Shotgun now for Brady. And Gronkowski's got it, complete over the middle. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Wait, 20, 380. On the handoff, it's Michelle. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is taken at the 18. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. First down, Rivers. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Adrian Claymore. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. 
So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They start the second half with Michelle on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 20. On first down, Brady over the middle. That's taken in by Gronkowski. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. They'll run it now out of the gun. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial go, surface. Go. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Four down, four down. 20. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Goes underneath here to White. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. All nine points for him coming via the field goal, and this last one puts him out in front. All the field goals are great, but you know I'm going to get pessimistic here, right? Because you've got to score touchdowns to win games in the NFL. I just wonder if all these field goals, great now, or if they'll come back and haunt them later on.
Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. To throw on third down, Rivers, and that is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for L.A. And this is blocked. The Pats bring heat and they get home. And a blocked punt always can be such a momentum swing in a big way because now the spark has been lit. Everyone gets involved with that team. And many times coaches preach, you block a punt, you block a kick, that usually leads to victory. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. New England on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and three. From the gun, it's Brady. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Now Austin Eckler on the return. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And the Chargers coming out of the field now.
So Rivers will lead the Chargers out first and 10 at the 31 yard line. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. He's airing it out for Williams. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Block the team. Hey, hot. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The Chargers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. On play action, Rivers. He's airing it out for Williams. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Again, it's Michelle, and he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A give, this is Michelle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now they'll throw with Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. Brandon, with the way things are going with Tom Brady finding Gronk as many times as he has in this game and the team is winning, I think at some point maybe even Brady would do the Gronk dance. <laughs> well, if he does that Gronk dance, Davis, that means you have to do that Gronk dance. Trust me, partner, no one wants to see me do the Gronk dance. <laughs> Your wife? <laughs> no, no one. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, partner, league-wide, I think we're set up for a wild month of January. It seems like this season, more than others, we've had a number of teams that you maybe say, hey, they're the Super Bowl favorites. Kind of the Rams early, then it was the Chiefs, Patriots kept winning, and the Saints, and now, heck, maybe even the Texans or the Bears could claim that moniker. Yeah, it's going to make for a wild month of January. And you just wonder right now, are we missing a team or two that's just a little bit outside the playoff hunt? Could they get hot and be those teams you don't want to play and carry that momentum all the way to the Super Bowl? Yes, I'm looking at the Indianapolis Colts as one of those teams. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Rivers now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. 
Here's Rivers. Allen's got it over the middle. He's by himself, Keenan Allen. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, 66 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? To the air again here, Rivers, and he's got it. The try for two is successful, and it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Like 20. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I think you have to chalk that one up for the defense there. Someone right on the spot, excellent coverage, didn't leave him enough room to come down inbounds, even though he did catch the football. New England on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time, it's third and three. From the gun, Brady, he hits right, complete. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To throw is Brady. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. By 20! By 20! No! To throw again. Brady. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman, 54 yards. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Goskowski the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Rivers on first down. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. A good pick up there, a 22. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. Rivers now. A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Delta! Working out of the gun, Rivers. Caught left side, Williams. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Rivers now to throw on first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stack sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. The Chargers on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be third and forever. From the gun, Rivers. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Well, they went with a the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Donnie Jones now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because yeah, the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Credit the tackle to Brandon Meebane. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe old Gala drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And Philip Dorsett hauls it in. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. New England on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. Here it's third and three. On play action. Now Brady. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And 21 yards there as they convert on third. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. 
Like 20! Like 20! Yeah! On first and 10, here's Brady. This is White on the screen. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Brady to throw again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards on the play. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Brady to throw on second down. And his throw is incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah, what happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go like by the wayside on that one. Throwing his Brady on third down. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is recovered by the Chargers. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. The bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Edelman set to return. 49-yard punt five on the return and that will come the offense as they take over so the Patriots coming out now and so close to hitting pay dirt last time fumbling down near the goal line now how does that affect their psyche this time around it's a tester that's for sure because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing not just for the guys on offense for the defensive players too who thought hey we put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it Short go, term memory. and move on to the next series. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? On play action, it's Brady. He's going to air it out for Dorsett. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. Brady now on first down. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. One-handed. Love the effort. Not much production on that play, though, huh? Not a whole lot of yardage. You get that grab, you probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film session. If he's saying, hey, run that one back, Coach. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that Two again. more time. And they won't. Eight more times. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. And they're able to pick up the first and keep possession. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Four down, four down, check. Four down, four down. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Wait, 20. They'll give it to him up the middle. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Hey, wait, 20. They'll try to run it in, Michelle. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here's Desmond King on the return. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. He's back to throw over the middle it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Melvin Gordon there. And now it's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. He'll look to throw. Going underneath for Gordon. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He lost two there, and it's third down. Back to throw. And Allen's got it. And out across midfield, down to the 45. A big gain of 31 on third down. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Adrian Claiborne in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. And with the clock ticking under 50 seconds now, he spikes it. The Chargers on third down. They're hitting at just 30 percent, three for ten. This will be third and 19. Set, 380. Back to throw. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And this is going to be incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Ready? Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no! It's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots are close to finishing off this football game. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way, depending on who converts on fourth down. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Wait, 20! 20! 
Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long.